So I just recently upgraded from a router to a spindle. So I got myself a spindle kit off Amazon. Water cooled, so it's not gonna overheat. And I'm in the middle of setting everything up. But one thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to control the spindle with my operating system. Uh, right now, the only way to control the speed is through this little dial. So I am going to show you how to wire it up so that you can use your operating system to control the spindle. I'll show you that now. So what I have here is a DB25 breakout board, which will connect to your Onefinity controller box. And inside, if you can make it out, there's rows of numbers all the way up to 25. The numbers we're looking for are 13 and 14. Here I have an old electrical wire from an old appliance I am no longer using. Uh, any wire, I imagine, would work for this uh, because it's just a simple connection. So I'm going to just slide this into 13. Oops. i got to make sure which one I'm connecting to 13 and which one I'm connecting to 14 here. So let's figure out... Okay, so... If you're using an electrical cord like this, you're going to have to know which side you're doing. So I'm going to use the, the one with the writing on it. I'll put that one in 13. Come on, there you go. That's what I want. The other one and stick that guy in the 14 if it slides in. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Use a thinner wire probably for this. Don't use a big bulky one like I am. Okay, managed to get it in there now. Okay, so got one in 13, one in 14. Now I'm just gonna clean up these wires. That should be it. Close up the box and then we'll move over to the VFD and uh, hook this up. All right, so inside there's an RS and an R positive. We're going to take the one that we connected the 13, which is this wire because it's got the writing on it. I'm going to plug that one into RS positive. Tighten that guy down, come on. Then we're going to take the one that we plugged in the 14 and stick that one into RS negative. And now 
on back to the RFD to program the right settings. All right, so we got everything wired up, but either for it to work, we gotta program this first. And I will show you what the punch in right now. Okay, so we'll hit program. We'll start with PD000, set. Make sure that's set to zero. Set. Uh, PD001, set. Set that to two. Set. PD002, set that to two. PD163, Make sure that's set to 1. PD164. Make sure that's set to 1. Okay. Uh, PD165. Set this to 3. It's already set. Uh, next we'll go through PD010. Make sure that's eight. Set. Uh, next one will be PD 144. Make sure that's set to 3000. And then to lock everything in, we will go back to PD 000. and set that back to one. And that should be it for this. So on the Onefinity controller, I'm gonna go into Tool, and then you wanna make sure you have all these settings. If you're using the same one as me, it's the Huyang F VFD. I'll probably pronounce that wrong. Your max speed will be 24 RPM. Your minimum speed will be set to zero. Uh, these will don't touch. Uh, you probably shouldn't have to touch that, that, or anything like that. And then when you're done, your connection will probably say disconnected right now, but all the settings you put into your uh, VFD will be listed below on here. And then you'd go up to the top and there would be a save button up here. So let's say if I change something, let's see if I change this to 22,000 or something, oops. Oh, okay. Well, there was a save button up there. I don't know where the save button is right now, but I want to... Okay, so... Well, that's correct. But, oh, there it is. There's a save button. If you're looking for it, click save. Now, everything's locked into your system, your operating system, and now we'll go back to control. And let's test this out and see if the spindle will rotate for us. If everything's connected correctly, this should work. So I'm just going to enter in a simple code or script to make the spindle move. Spin it at like 10,000 RPMs. I'll click play. All right, so it's spinning. 
and the VFD reads 9999 okay and uh, if I click the stop button uh, it should stop excellent and that's how you control your spindle with your operating system if you're interested in the same setup as what I have I will include all the links to those items under the video.